Welcome to the Interstellar Stories channel. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into a topic. Solomon examines the inevitable fact of death for all people in Ecclesiastes 9, 1-10. Everyone is bound toward the same destiny. God ultimately controls our lives in the day we are supposed to die, so we should cherish life and make the most of it while we are still here. A live dog is better than dead lion, says Solomon, adding that he who is joined with all the living has hope. Comprehending the cultural context of some Bible verses, like Ecclesiastes 9.4, is essential to comprehending their meaning. Dogs were not cute and cuddly pets in the past. Rather, they were seen as filthy, repulsive scavengers and looked down upon with scorn. On the other hand, lions were revered as majestic, brave, and formidable hunters. Dogs squatted and groveled at the base of the food chain, while lions, the king of beasts, dominated and roared at the top. As long as there is life, there is hope, is the fundamental tenet that a living dog is preferable to a dead lion. Solomon employed these two creatures as metaphors for the powerful and the poor. A live dog possessed the unique benefit of life, even if it had no rank or power in the ancient world. A dead lion stood for someone who, although strong and powerful in the past, was now defenseless and without hope. Solomon reasoned that it was preferable to be alive and helpless, but yet full of hope, than to be dead, even if one had formerly been powerful and well-liked. It is pointless and stupid to spend our days after things like fame, wealth, and power when everyone eventually dies. The stately lion is reduced by death to a condition of emptiness, lower than that of the live dog, Ecclesiastes 9.5. It would be wiser for us to make the most of the time we have left over to consider our own death and to assess our existence. Realizing how fleeting life is is the first step toward hope for the living. While one is still able, a sensible person will consider the true meaning of life. Solomon said earlier in Ecclesiastes 7.2, that it is preferable to attend a house of sorrow rather than a feast since everyone will eventually die. The living should remember this. Attending a funeral forces us to confront the truth of death and forces us to consider our future. Grief and grieving seasons, therefore, have a useful function in that they serve as a helpful reminder to live each day to the fullest and cherish our remaining time on earth. Those who have passed on have no such chance. God only offers each of us one life one precious chance to get to know Him and accept His gift of redemption. We will probably miss the opportunity to spend eternity with Him if we never give death or our ultimate destiny any thought. For a lion, hope is lost. Thus, a surviving dog is preferable to a dead one. In death, his once regal status is nothing. However, the surviving dog remains hopeful. Living people still have the opportunity to experience the hope of everlasting life with God and come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Our inheritance is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading. It is kept in heaven for us as Christians, who by God's grace are being kept safe through faith for a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. We are born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The hope of a believer is an anchor for the soul, firm and sure, unaffected by death. 